Hello, good morning to Tuesday's Daily Prayers. Welcome if you're joining us here on YouTube and a welcome to those who are joining us on the phones. You'll find the words to the prayers in the box below this video screen if you don't have the prayer booklet. If you need any further information, the details for Ian, our minister, are there also. Now let's give people just a few more moments to join us. We can use this time to calm ourselves, quieten our minds, our hearts, our bodies and our spirits as we prepare to come before God. Let's take a few moments. We say together, Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me. Bless his holy name. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Almighty God, in your love and power, you created all things out of nothing. By your eternal counsel and providence, you uphold and rule heaven and earth. Gracious God, you not only created each of us, but you sustain and form us with your Holy Spirit. We trust in you, God our Maker, Jesus our Mediator, Holy Spirit our Comforter. Now we turn to the Psalms, where today we're at Psalm 61. Hear my cry, O God, listen to my prayer. From the ends of the earth I call to you. I call as my heart grows faint. Lead me to the rock that is higher than I, for you have been my refuge, a strong tower against the foe. I long to dwell in your tent forever and take refuge in the shelter of your wings. For you have heard my vows, O God. You have given me the heritage of those who fear your name. Increase the days of the king's life, his years for many generations. May he be enthroned in God's presence forever. Appoint your love and faithfulness to protect him. Then will I ever sing praise to your name and fulfil my vows day after day. Amen. Now let us say the prayer that Jesus taught us to say, the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory forever. Amen. Now we continue reading from the Gospels. and We're in Matthew's Gospel. Today we're reading from chapter 20 verses 29 to 34. It says, As Jesus and his disciples were leaving Jericho, a large crowd followed him. Two blind men were sitting by the roadside, and when they heard that Jesus was going by, they shouted, Lord, son of David, have mercy on us. The crowd rebuked them and told them to be quiet. But they shouted all the louder, Lord, son of David, have mercy on us. Jesus stopped and called them. What do you want me to do for you? He asked. Lord, they answered, we want our sight. Jesus had compassion on them and touched their eyes. Immediately, they received their sight and followed him. Amen. Now we turn to God in the time of prayer. We use the first prayer on the sheet. This will be followed by a, a 
time of silence where we can lift before God prayers, people, things that are on our hearts and the things that God lays on our hearts. We pray together. Lord of heaven and earth, we praise and thank you for upholding and ruling over all creation. We trust in your never failing love, knowing that even in the hardest of times and most difficult of situations, you are at work bringing all things together under Christ. Therefore, hear our prayers, which we make in his name. We pray in silence. We continue together. You are the beginning and the end. All time is in your hands. All people under your care. Look with mercy upon our broken world, O God. And in your loving kindness, provide for our needs. Do not be slow in answering us, we humbly ask. And do not allow us to be slow in answering your call, to serve you in love and sacrifice. To the glory of God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. O Christ, the master carpenter, who at the last through wooden nails purchased our salvation, wield well your tools in the workshop of the world, so that we, who come rough-hewn to your bench, may here be fashioned to a truer beauty by your hand. We ask this for your name and for your sake. Amen. May the Lord of peace himself give us peace at all times and in all ways, and the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the fellowship of of the Holy Spirit be with us all. Amen. Thanks for joining us today. I hope you have a good rest of the day and please, whatever you do, stay safe. <laughs>